Meanwhile, Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthi movement has engaged in Oman-mediated talks with international parties about its operation in the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea. And this is according to a Houthi spokesperson. This follows a series of attacks on ships by the militia group. The statement did not identify the international parties involved in the talks and did not say where they took place or when. But it may indicate that the Houthis could be willing to de-escalate. The attacks led to the suspension of several international container shipments through the Red Sea. In the latest, major shipping firms, Mediterranean Shipping Company and CMA CGM said that they were suspending passage through a Red Sea Strait vital for global trade. Well, earlier, shipping giant Maersk and German transport company Hepag Lloyd suspended its Red Sea container ship traffic as well. Now, the U.S. military, meanwhile, said that an American destroyer shot down more than a dozen drones in the Red Sea launched from Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen as the impact of the Israel-Hamas war spreads to global shipping lanes. Well, Yemen's Iran-backed Houthis, they have launched a series of drones and missile strikes targeting vessels near the strategic Bab al-Mandab Strait, saying that they are pressuring Israel over its devastating war with Hamas militants in the Gaza Strip. Now, the question being here is that why is the Red Sea so important? Well, the Red Sea has the Suez Canal at its northern end, like you can see on your screens, and the narrow Bab al-Mandab Strait at the southern end, leading into the Gulf of Aden. It's a busy waterway with ships traversing the Suez Canal to bring goods between Asia and Europe. A huge amount of Europe's energy supplies, like oil and diesel fuel, it comes through that waterway, which represents 80% of the world's commercial fleet. Now... How are Houthi attacks on ships in the Red Sea affecting the global trade? Well, some of the biggest commercial ships have suspended their passage. Some are taking longer route to reach their destination, which is stretching the trip from around 19 days to 31 days, depending on the vessel speed. And this is also increasing the costs and adding delays. The single biggest immediate impact of the Houthi escalation has been increased insurance costs. Experts say that the insurance costs have doubled for the shippers moving through the Red Sea, which can add hundreds of thousands of dollars to a journey for the most expensive ships. While the shippers are applying a so-called war risk charge of $50 to $100 per, per container to the customers. And that's a low enough fee that it should not drive up prices for the consumers.